Real boxing sage. Books. And this is how it opened up. You hear Jesse Reed in the background about he's really a champion of moving on angles. Move it underneath. Slap him with that right hand. So if you're Molina, these are the cards. No wait, son. Move your hands. You try to make a nice statement in this kind of a fight. And that's Double exactly what kind of fight Double. this is. It's a statement fight. It's a, it, it's a chance for John Molina to work his way back in contention, showcase he still has it, and hopefully do so in, a, in, a, in an impressive performance. Good jab by Romero and a good right hand by Molina. Jab your way in. Good body shot by Molina and a good right to the head. Molina pursuing with a right hand. Romero staying busy trying to fight off the onslaught of John Mane Molina. He just doesn't seem to have the pop in his punches to earn the respect of Molina. Keep digging that body. Good left took by Molina. And Molina firing everything with bad intentions. Good right hand by Molina. Romero back, but Molina doing a good job in that sequence. There's a good hook by Romero. One of the few that he's been able to get in thus far. So the opening round. A good one for John Molina Jr. Romero and Molina Jr. into round two. Schedule 4-10. Molina applying good pressure in the opening round. You know what, and it's, it's, I don't want to say it's easy for Molina to apply pressure, but walking forward right now is not as dangerous 
as it could be construed because it doesn't seem like Romero has a lot of pop in his punch. He's not a big puncher. He's pitter pattery. He's kind of throwing punches out there. And thus being said, Molina's not showing respect for it. He's just walking him down, walking through those punches, looking to land the big power punch and demonstrate the superior punching power he has over Romero. If you believe you come from a different circuit than your opponent, you have to assert that immediately and make him remember that he's on a different circuit than you are. And that's exactly what John Molino Jr. is trying to do here tonight. Just here, when, when, when the punches land, when Molino's punches land, they're, they're cracking, they thud, you feel them. When Romero's punches land, they're more just tap, 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 tap. There's not a lot of steam on them, not a lot of bad intention. Double jab here by Molina. Romero can't keep him off, and Molina getting that message slowly but surely. Looping right by Molina, misses and then the hook gets in. Good right hand by Molina. Good body work. And Romero is slap happy and it shows. Nice right hand by Romero, but Molina with a better one. And then clips him again with a right hand. Left hook by Molina. So as we come to the end of round two, John Molina Jr. in complete control. Put your hands. Time! And we start round three. Molina Romero. Molina stuck, walking through the punches of Romero. Lands to the body, lands to the head. Romero on rubber relays as Molina just unloads a barrage of punches to the head, to the body, digging, ripping, finding his home. Romero just trying to tie up, hanging on for dear life. Molina turns him, gets some space. Big overhand right, big right hand to the body. Romero on wobbly legs. He looks like he's ready to go. Molina unloading, throwing everything but the kitchen sink. And the referee has seen enough. And he brought the kitchen sink. He brought the kitchen sink. <laughs> You keep the pressure on, you make your point. And like a good attorney with a closing argument, Molina wins his case. And Jesse Reed, veteran, trainer, seeing everything he wanted from his fighter in this one. The 
only thing that might have been lacking from the performance of John Molina Jr. could be the defensive aspect. But when you got a guy in front of you who doesn't have a lot of punch and power, it's easy to walk through him to land a bigger shot as we see him doing right there as the fight was stopped by the referee unloading a barrage of power punches. And I love him doubling up, tripling up on the right hand. Right hook to the body, right overhand, right uppercut, right overhand. Through three or four or five right hands in a row. But you know, it's easy to, to let your defense fall by the wayside when you have someone in front of you that poses no real threats. And that's why sometimes they worry about guys developing bad habits in certain types of fights. Very true. And you have to weigh it. You want a confidence-building victory, but not too many bad habits. Exactly. On the flip side, though, you know, when you got a guy who doesn't have a lot of punching power, the more you make yourself available to be hit, the easier it is to hit him. Yep, you lure him in and take two or three of his punches, and as his punches had just find their mark, you unload with yours. And there's the big overhand right by Molina. He follows it up, brings it back downstairs to the body, back upstairs to the head, to the head again, repeatedly going to town on the head and body of Romero with that right hand. Loading up here, and referee has seen enough. When you get that kind of time to launch a shot right. and your opponent can't stop it, then that's when you have to see the referee in the picture.